This is the Accommodated Equations quiz number one. For this quiz, make sure to read all directions carefully. Also, if you are typing an answer, make sure to include labels and always use lowercase letters and no spaces in answers. If you are typing an answer to an equation, make sure the variable is first, such as x equals blank. Do not add any spaces when typing answers or equations. Write down your last name, your first name, and then choose your class period. Number one, solve this equation, x minus seven equals nine. Number two, one third x equals four. Number three is a two-step equation. 3x plus 2 equals 11. Number four, x plus 6 equals 25. Number five, negative 3x equals 12. Number six, two thirds x minus two equals four. Number seven, 100 equals x minus 99. Number eight, five minus x equals 25. Number nine, two thirds x equals negative two. Number 10 is a real world problem. Here is the word problem. Use this scenario to answer A and B below. At a restaurant, Mike and his three friends, which gives us four people total, decided to divide the bill evenly. If each person paid $13, then what was the total bill? Let B equal the total bill. 10A, write an equation. So don't solve it, but write the equation. So write an equation to model this scenario. Again, let B equal the total bill. Use B as your variable. Use the fraction bar for divide. Use the, the asterisk for multiply. Use plus for addition. Use minus for subtraction. Do not type any spaces in your equation. In 10b, solve the equation you wrote in 10a. Write your answer as b equals or just the number. You do not need to include a label. Number 11 is another real world problem. Use this scenario to answer a and b below. Ben's cell phone plan charges a flat rate of $99 plus 15 cents per minute. If Ben's cell phone is $117, for how many minutes did he use? Let M equal the minutes used. 11A, write an equation. Use M equals the extra minutes billed, so M is your variable. Use M as your variable, use the fraction bar for divide, use the asterisk for multiply, use plus for addition, use minus for subtraction. Do not type any spaces in your equation. In 11b, solve the equation you wrote in 11a. Write your answer simply m equals blank, or just the number. No need to include a label. Number 12 is another real world problem. Here we have a picture of Jane's work. Jane solved the problem below. Analyze her work and decide if you agree or disagree with her solution. So she has three minus X equals nine. She subtracted three from both sides and she got X equals six. Do you agree with Jane that her answer should be X equals six or disagree? It should be something different. 
Now that you're done with a quiz, make sure you click on the read aloud option. If you chose it, click yes. If not, click no. And then finally, a little bit of housekeeping by checking the box below you understand you are responsible for reading all directions you understand that this quiz is due at the end of the hour and you are also aware that the work document must be attached to the quiz in google classroom as an image or an on a document and turned in with the quiz at the end of the hour if this is not done i am aware i will receive no credit for the work